somebody, but I can buy an ass. I'm looking at my boot. Y'all booty bigger than mine. You got here before you got here. previous vlog with Peyton. What are you doing with your life? So this is the new time piece that I got. So what my heel hanging off the back a little bit? So what? I see people every day in, in getting pedicures and they just cool with a corn on their toe. Like you cool with the corn, okay? Children of the corn. <laughs> All that we want is a man who can fight who can hit it all night? You know, I, I know that I want one person. Oh, that's 11. I just, I really feel like I just relapsed on a really, really bad drug. And you I'm, know, I'm, just, I'm so good. disappointed in myself, Cynthia. You don't be disappointed in yourself, baby. We all do shit and we learn from it and you learn fast. Just think of how long before in the past when you were dealing with him and so much time would have went by, you immediately cut this shit off. That was a very enlightening vlog. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out so you're all caught up and let's see what's going on in this one. if you like but you know we have people that don't it's all good it's not mandatory but to become a paypal all you have to do is subscribe and turn your notification bells on so you'll get notified whenever i post because it's top tier over here and i really feel like you'll enjoy the channel it's just my it's just my uh premonition <laughs> Um, but we are getting ready. I'm um, installing a new unit that I got from a PayPal because I love to support you guys. This is from Z Monet Collection and not Monet from Power, but Z Monet. And this is her information. So you can go to the site and support. Sis sent me this wig back when I was staying in the other apartment. She sent me this wig a while ago. Um, and I was looking for it, couldn't find it because I was packing up everything. So, um, the great thing about it is that it was like already ready for me straight out the package. Now, I do have to do a little flat ironing to it because it's been in a box this whole time for like months. But when I get where I'm going, because I'm actually getting ready to go on a little trip. So when I get where I'm going, I'm going to um, flat iron it. But for right now, we're just going to throw a head on it and um, make sure it's like secure. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a head on it. And I'm gonna just throw on some active work set because I am rushing. It's 640. I need to be leaving the house in roughly two hours. And I have not packed anything. I have not packed a pencil. You know how I do. Um, so yeah, that is what we're doing. But the great thing about it is that really everything that I need to pack is already out.
But y'all look at this wig. Sis laid this motherfucker. You hear me? She laid it, okay? So once I once I get where I'm going, y'all will see. Um I don't even know if y'all can see, but that's where the stocking caps start. But Chad. Ma'am laid this wig. This is like a really good wig and it smell, smells so good. The hair is real. It's not um that synthetic stuff. You know, we we we, we get them wigs all the time. It is what it is. They ain't gonna last. Th those wigs don't last, but this wig gonna last a while. Um and it smells so good and it's so flat. I'm so glad I got some new braids. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think this is a, it's like right there in my butt crack. So it definitely is a 20. I think this is a 22. It's looking like a 22, but it's, um, it's layered a little bit too. So later on, once I get to my hotel and where I'm going, I'm going to flat iron it. But right now we just going to throw it on and make sure it's installed and secure. So come on, pack with me. All right, we don't have time to talk too much, but I did get some stuff from Manier Dubois. I love that site. Like, ooh, I'm on there all the time, you yeah. All of the time. So, yeah. I think I want to take one of my items from here. Um... Oh, these pants are so freaking cute. Gosh. Do I want to take these? Because I don't really know what we got planned. But I bought these jeans. And they look like you got on boxers. Um, and you're sagging your boxers. These are so freaking cute. Do I want to take these? Then I also got, I bought a lot of stuff from Fashion Nova too. And I also got these pleated leather wide leg pants. Oh, these cute. Oh, and they long. Oh, these cute and they long. Okay. So I have a pleated top that would go perfect with this. I got this pleated top. I've tried this on before with a different, uh, these leather pants got a little fishy smell to it, but it's a, it's a pleated look. The top isn't leather, the pants are, but I don't know, I'm going to have to try this on. I might, I might say this. I might say it. Oh, what else did I get? I think I got, um, oh, I got these cute leggings. These are really cute. Yeah, these are cute. I got these cute leggings. And I got a white, like, dress, and it comes with these, like, this, like, bra type of top. That's cute. What can I take with these leggings? These look like they these are gonna fit so freaking cute. Okay, definitely taking these. I'm just gonna take like a cute plain white top. We're not gonna do too much because I like these little things right here. Okay, then we got a lot of cute pieces from Fashion Nova. A lot of jumpsuits. A lot, a lot, a lot. But whatever. This is... So... I think I want to take this one. I gotta try it on, no, because I got it in a medium. Okay. I think we got everything. And guess what time it is? 7.15, girl, I got time to spray and eat breakfast. Oh, I'm proud of myself. So, 
So I'm about to go downstairs and just make sure that I got everything. Like I got my shoes, I got tennis shoes, I got a coat. The coat is, I'm gonna put the coat on. I'm gonna put the coat on right now. Um, I wanna say I got everything. I think you know what, cause I really want to see what these look like and it's possible that we may do something that causes for casual because these pants are so freaking cute so i'm just gonna take them because of where we're going i feel like it's appropriate so let me run downstairs and get the the top to go, that i would wear with this and um yeah that's cute because i can always wear those pants again like Recycle your clothes, girl. Okay, so I am starving in, I got some new Hello Fresh. <sighs> I'm excited. So they sent me a new recipe. I got two recipes that I've cooked before, but this one is new. This is called the Sweet Chili Pork Balls with bell pepper and candied peanuts. Oh girl, it looks so good. So I'm about to make this really quick. It's gonna take 30 minutes to cook, five minutes to prep. I am ready, okay? So this should be really quick. I got all of my ingredients right here. I'm gonna dump these out. So HelloFresh did send me everything that I need. It all comes in this little recyclable bag. They always use recyclable content for everything that they send to you. So I have my rice, my peanuts, my lime, bell peppers, onions, cilantro, soy glaze, and my sweet Thai chili sauce. I got everything I need to make this in less than 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to make it faster because I'm hungry. But I'm glad that I didn't have to go to the grocery store because this just cuts out all of that going up and down the aisle trying to find the ingredients because honestly, this is a lot to make. If you were actually trying to find all of these ingredients in the grocery store, you would have to go down one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You would have to go down eight aisles to get all of these ingredients to make this on your own if you were going to the grocery store. So that's what I love about HelloFresh is that they cut out the grocery store runs. I don't really like going to the grocery store any, anymore anyway because one, we're in the middle of the pandemic and people are still getting really, really sick. But two, I hate standing in lines. I hate bagging my groceries. I hate unpacking my groceries. And because I, my kitchen is on the second floor of my town, I hate going up and down the stairs, bringing my groceries up and down the stairs. So I like meal deliveries. It saves me, for real. Plus, the recipes are always delicious and sustainable. They're healthy, they're good for you. <laughs> you know, it might not be a plate, but it's a plate, okay? I don't know if you guys noticed, but this year I didn't do a vision board for myself. I really wanted to focus on manifesting the things that I put on my 2021 vision board. And last year was such a good year that I feel like focusing on manifesting and envisioning the things that I want to happen in this year was most important. And one of those things is to make sure that I continue to eat healthy. You know, our diet and the things that we consume are so important to our overall health. And getting a home-cooked meal on the table every day is an accomplishment worth celebrating. So I really appreciate HelloFresh for allowing me to cook more and giving me the ability to try different recipes and not eat out so much um, because cooking at home really gives you a sense of accomplishment and I mean it makes you feel good it teaches you how to cook I mean the recipes are super easy to follow they're super delicious you get to save time and stress effortlessly by removing grocery store hauls out of your routine and things like that whilst going to the grocery store can be fun at the same time it's super hectic and a little risky because of you know we are in the pandemic so i love hellofresh's recipes and i love the options that i get 
I always cook something new each and every time. Um, and it really teaches me how to cook more. Even though I was a chef in the military, I still learn new recipes and how to cook them. So I really appreciate HelloFresh. And I know you guys will too. So if you are interested in trying out HelloFresh, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use code Payton16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's go to HelloFresh.com and use code Payton16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. you could request certain meals to be sent because I got a few hello fresh favorites that I like to request I also want to try the serpent turp that looked real good when you get the lobster, steak, and shrimp. Ooh, that looked real good. But I missed that week. This is really good, though. I'm glad I decided to cook this. It's good. Staying at your dress because it's sleep through. Talking out of you done been through. Yeah, say that you a lesbian girl, me too. Hey, girls want girls while I'm So, how about I just shut my doggone nail in the door? And look at it now. Look like a monster done bit my damn, tried to bite my hand off. Oh, so, I'm looking for a nail salon in the. Uh, Airport. Hey, make open the door. So I can fix it real quick. Fun is like I cannot change. Hit it, hit it. Keep off in the rain. So we getting ready to surprise her older sister, my other cousin, Tanya, because she don't know we here. So we wait, we hide behind this little thing, waiting on her to come down so we can surprise her because she don't know we here. Baby, I've been surprising the, 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 the subscribers too. I ain't tell them I was coming to Vegas. Oh, Lord. But it's like, they're going to see it in the title, so it didn't make no sense for me to keep it a secret. We are here hiding from the exotic <laughs> Hi! How y'all doing? <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> hey, Nikki. Oh, hey. hey, I mean, like, Bye, really? Man. Of course. <laughs> See? Really? <laughs> it's been two long years. I ain't seen you since you was knee high to a grasshopper. And you came yeah, to now. Vegas to celebrate yeah. with me. I'm so happy. I am so happy. I love you. So let's show y'all the room. So we are at the signature. So let's go in the bathroom first. And I forgot to bring my way bath bombs. So we might have to go to the store so I can get some bath bombs because I want to take a bath. Another bath. And then this is the shower. And like I said, this is the signature MGM. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. This is the mirror. We got two vanities for me and my cousin Jessica so we can both get ready at the same time. Then we have a private bathroom. And in here. Okay, well, that might be it then. Baby, I'm here. Yeah, I'm okay. King size bed. Is that a king? Mm -hmm. Whatever. And then we have, I think this is an executive suite. And then this is a little sitting area here. Jessica is lifestyle in the whole place. You do that every time you travel. Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't do that at all. Wow. Yeah, yeah. honey, she was surprised. Surprised. Then she, she got this me some area over you here, and y'all know I'm going to go to the dispensary and pick me up something. How you get out of there? Nah, it's cold out. outside. Yeah, and then this is the bed. So I'm starving. I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. I'm gonna open my bags and unpack, cause you know I gotta unpack when I'm when I'm staying in a hotel. I can't live out my suitcase. I got to unpack. I brought my appetite syrup. We ain't gonna say his name, but I brought it so I can eat. Cause baby, I done dropped down to one thirty-five. I ain't happy about it. I, 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 I ain't happy about it. So yeah, we finna unpack. And then me and Jessica fit to go on a hunt for some food. Did I just hear you say okay, baby? Maja. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to say, Jessica, you got a man. Uh, no. <laughs> the one that I would say, the only person I would date, he stayed in LA. And he yeah. was, he was gonna try to come, but he had too much work. You don't wanna do a little long distance. Huh? You don't wanna do a little long distance. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be with anybody? My mind is focused on work. Uh, that little midget. With all her stuff she got going on. I ain't really got time for that shit. My job is consuming. Like, seriously. Mine is too, but every now and then you need a little tender love and care. Nah, i <laughs> Cause that ain't no problem. when it's cold outside. Nah. Girl. Who are you holding? You be holding me. Okay. Well, 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 well. It's an appetite syrup. It helped me eat. And it's oh, gonna make like me sleep it, sleepy too. Um, I mean, booster. Mm -hmm. So tonight on the agenda, we're going to Wild Burgers. Yeah. They must. They must. Stack it up like a wild. Maybe that's why it's called wild burgers. I don't know. Maybe I'm out of change. Y'all know this restaurant is they the whole yeah they supposed to be dicks to you. They supposed to be assholes. Like customer service, all this supposed to be bad. Like this the whole. I don't want to end up fighting. Like they gonna talk shit to you and everything. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they got the, the one right there. Oh no, that's, two. That's why I asked you knew where you was coming. <laughs> yeah, we, we got one in Dallas. I still ain't been. Because once somebody told me that, I was like, oh, 
it might it might be cool for a vlog, but I said Thank you. Let's see, what, let's, let's see what the food <laughs> working with. Yeah. Yeah. She, she said ain't that what she said right or something. Y'all are big. I'm winning that game. I'm going to do a good job. I'll be back on the show. All right. All I know is what y'all said. Y'all finna come off the damn top of my macho man ran the side. It's funny when you're stoned. It's gonna be funny when you're stoned. I'm gonna try to get into it. I knew it. No. You don't really know when they been for real or when they play. Definitely playing the whole time. You do your job, but. Look at this. You look like that. You see, look on her face with her. Right. I ain't gonna say that. No, he said, yo, I'm gonna say that. Either way, shit's your fault, not mine. I didn't go to your trailer park. You walked into mine. If you're drinking alcohol, I don't need anybody's IDs because I see all your crow's feet. We're fine. All right, what the hell are you drinking, lady? My boss tells me to tell you to try the beat. Black people don't even have crow's feet. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call those stretch marks around your mouth? Is that from smiling or all the blowjobs? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lady Pamp, what the hell are you drinking? <laughs> Down there. Try water. Water. It's, it's going to be a bottle of water. Nice. Oh man, let me find out you like them. You didn't throw that stuff at them. Look at his face. Dang, could <laughs> so you was looking at my boot. You're my personality, but I can buy an ass. You was looking at my boot. Y'all booty bigger than mine. You got here before you got here. Hey, I'm tipping that. I'm tipping it. Because you're right. It says rock in that 70s bush. <laughs> That looks like Mason Gray down there. <laughs> Start saying, like, oh, Lord, what did Joel say? Hey, oh, Lord, what did Joel say? Oh, God. Oh, God. You told me about it. Right, you're going to look like one of the other. This says, I told her to shave her pussy for Vegas and woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> show out today if I had a man. Ooh, I shot show out. Okay. But, um, uh, damn, I ain't got my mask on. But yeah, I had a reservation at MGM Grand and they booked the signature. So, <laughs> I'm like, well, so that's why I'm in a room with my cousin because they wanted everybody to be here. And they don't have room service. What? So I ordered a taco bowl. That 
was fast. Like right when I was walking out the elevator, he was coming in. But yeah, I ordered a Taco Bell and a hot Eatos because I woke up starving. So we ended up going to Dick's, um, the Dick's restaurant where they where they an uh, asshole to you. It was a it was a fun experience. It really was. <clears throat> and the food was actually the food that I got was good. The nachos was good. Um, my cousin got baby back ribs. They were good to me, but she didn't like them. And um, I had took the syrup and I had been taking it. So you know when you first start taking it, you make you really sleep. I was falling asleep at the damn table. I was like, I'm gonna have to let y'all. I'm gonna have to let y'all. Uh, I'm gonna have to clock out and let y'all go. Uh, eat and do what y'all gonna do so they end up going they end up going to the roller coaster the roller coaster that go around the hotel they end up going there and uh damn i hope i got silverware and i came back to the room and went to sleep Chicken and beans and onions and guacamole. They did the best they could. I'm in love with a stripper. She rocking, she rolling, she rolling. All right, you guys. We are getting ready to head out and go get some breakfast. This is what I'm wearing. This cute top is supposed to tie on like each side. And you have a little side boobage, but I'm gonna put on a Zara leather vest over this. So this top came from Micah's. This bra shirt. This, is this a double D? Okay, this top came from Micah's. And it comes with the cute little sleeves with the thumb holes in it. I think it's so cute. Um, y'all will see this top again because I'm planning on wearing it with some leather pants. Um, but I forgot my turtleneck that was supposed to go with, originally go with this outfit, so. And I still have not flat ironed this hair, but I just left it in a bun. And it look good. I flat ironed it later when we get ready to go out for dinner. Should I put on some lashes? No. Okay. Until tonight. All right. Yeah. So, scent of the night is going to be Mancera Instant Crush. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Just look like we in the goth gang in high school. She All we need black is some coat. black yeah. eyeliner. Yep. <laughs> We got to go get some bread. Oh, did you did you uh feel me Johnson and turn it last night? Mm-hmm. I don't know how to work at him. Huh? I don't know how to work at him. No, I'm saying, did you feel me Johnson and turn it last night? Okay. It's not really it's not my Hey. Huh? Yeah, we're going down. Yeah. Sure. 
CBD pen and the charger with a full cartridge. Baby, I'm happy as a clam. I can't wait to get back and charge it because it needs to be charged. But, um, mm hmm. But I also want to go to the dispensary too. We headed to jump off the side of a building. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I have addressed my fear of heights, so that's not really a issue for me, but. I didn't plan on doing it, so I ain't like, my mind is, this is actually a cute little jogger set. My mind, I said I'm doing it. I should have got it, because I ain't got shit to wear just like in the daytime. I brought everything, everything that I bought to wear was uh, evening wear, like getting cute, going to brunch, going to dinner and stuff like that. I didn't really bring a lot of excursion wear. Happy birthday. Great. Thank you. <laughs> oh. That's what it smell like. She sprayed it on the thing. Can you smell okay. it on the tissue paper? Oh, yes. Because you're the best around. <laughs>
Cedric. Excuse me. So what were you saying about Mad Men? It's like a train. It's all over. Yeah, but they have really good quality stuff. They have like designer stuff, you know, like cookies, you know, like mm -hmm. all the designer, like the trends and like nice stuff. I can see the cookies in there. You can see the cookies? I saw the gummies and the chocolate. That's all I got was what I didn't see in the cookies. Oh, uh, no, not, not cookies like edibles, but the brand cookies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And what's that guy's name? Burner? You know Burner, his brand? He makes the, he has like some pie, uh, yeah. It's like, uh, it's a classy. I've had cookies before. Cookies good. Yeah, it's, it's a classy joint, is what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is classy. Yeah, they got good stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're always in like an expensive, like, nice area, you know? Like a nice. Yeah. So I got some free rolls. Okay. Well, what, what, what's on? What, what brand though? I like to see what kind of. What do you like, sativas? Do you like indicas? I got a hybrid. Because I don't want to be, don't yeah, wanna be like too even out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get the men. Okay, men, men. Yeah, these are good. Let's see, hybrid. Yeah. Yeah, I like limonene. Get the knife right here. Carry off lane. I like that too. Like mellows it out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, good choice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're wearing tonight. We're getting ready to go to dinner. This outfit is from Fashion Nova. The shoes are Tom Ford. Watch. Ooh! JBW. And on the face is Huda. Jessica, you got your phone? Here you go, your phone. And then Jessica, Jessica got on go. Come on in the light, girl. Come on in the light, sis. Jessica got on this go. What, what are you wearing, honey? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Give it to us. Clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jessica got on fashion over too. Okay, girl. You ready? Got them tears out. <laughs> <laughs> Where you mask at? <sighs> yeah, get get a mask. <laughs> the mask already got my face breaking out. I got two cystic acne pimples coming. I'm so upset. I just got a chemical pill for this fucking acne. You said what? I just got a chemical pill for my acne and these scars. So sick of this COVID shit. So we're about to go eat at Hell's Kitchen for Tanya's birthday dinner tonight. Right, and we going out to drinks later on. Oh Lord, baby, the time for us is not made for walking. <laughs> well, hopefully we just, we catch a cab. We better. We better. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We better, or well, we gonna have to stop somewhere and get sis some flip flops. <laughs> In a coat. Are you gonna gamble? No, I don't gamble at home. What you mean, in Tunica? No, I don't gamble there. Only time uh, I've ever gambled is is grandma. Slots. Yep. You gonna do some slots? No. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. That's the only, only time I ever gambled. Whenever I went down there with grandma, that's the only time I ever gambled. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, what? She got on a leash. Who got on a leash, girl? Oh, no. Nah, they got one of them, uh, the paddle thing. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen in, Hell's Kitchen in Caesar's Palace? Uh -huh. Yeah, how does that happen? Yeah. Mm, Hell's Kitchen in Caesar's nah, Palace. these girls on the corner, I thought the girl had on a, on a leash. Oh. I hope it ain't no long walk. Can you take us like right to Hell's Kitchen? No, girl. Who's going who? That didn't sound right. Who's going who? This way. He said. <laughs> <laughs> She's 
supposed to do it. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. So we are back at the room and well I've been back at the room for a minute because mm -mm, them Tom Fords is not made for walking baby. I thought we was I thought I was gonna have limited amount of steps in them. Woo! They were trying to walk the strip child, I couldn't do it. So I came back to the room and smoked. Cause your girl, your, your girl bought seven pre-rolls at the dispensary and ma'am gotta smoke them up before we go. And I bought me some edibles too. You take the edibles. Hmm? I know you take the edibles. Yeah. But I ain't take one tonight. I ain't took one. Mm -mm. I don't want to be that doggone lifted. No, I don't want to be that damn lifted. Girl, why I'm over here texting? Oh, shit, you don't watch my cousin, my twin cousin, who's born five days before me, okay? You know what I'm saying? Both of us is Pisces. She's part of the Pisces gang, too. She don't watch my video, so she don't know shit about y'all little friend. Uh, uh, uh. Jagged Edge. <laughs> we went to Hell's Kitchen. Ooh, one good to me. My 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 short rib was so dry. Like, if y'all want a good short rib, go to the Henry in Dallas. That's a good short rib. My short rib was so dry, and they put it on a a, a potato cake. So the potato cake was kind of it was kind of dry and overcooked and burned. So like, I didn't like my food. So I sent my food back, and I very rarely do that. I very rarely do that. But like, that short rib was so damn dry and overcooked. And I should have knew something was up when he didn't ask me how I wanted it done. Like, do, do you not cook short rib a certain way? Like, different, you know what I'm saying? Um, You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't asked me, like, how do you want to cook? Yeah. And so it came out tasting like it had been microwaved three days since it's been cooked like it didn't it wasn't giving fresh it wasn't giving like a fresh cook i just came out the ugh. right it was giving it was kind of giving that it had been cooked already like three days ago i'm gonna drop this in the microwave yeah so i was like yeah let me send this back and i never send food back but i hope what what's his name? Gordon Ramsay. I hope yeah. he was in the back and he saw me send it back. Because it's like, sir, you got a whole TV show telling people that they can't cook or not. So yeah, after that we left and I came back to the room and they went to the Link Ferris wheel. And um Yeah, child, I came and smoked because it's cold outside and I knew that if I smoked, my feet would stop hurting because them shoes are not made for walking. But now they want to play Uno. And I'm about to send a video response to this guy that I'm talking to. So I will talk to y'all later. Good morning, good morning. So we are getting ready to go to the egg slut and have breakfast. I am starving like Marvin to the edible last night before I went to sleep. Put me right to bed. I know what I'm gonna be using for when I go home. My way to get the sandwich.
load over to a laundromat and clean it because it's like a big load and I just want to do it all in one um and while that's washing I'm gonna go and run some errands and get some stuff for Airbnb because I need like more snacks I need to replenish my wine glasses buy some wine buy some more coffee pods and stuff like that so trying to get some things done before I go back to the house Cause I have to feel some film some sponsored content and get that sent over so it can get approved today I'm really kind of rushing I really don't have like a lot of time yeah I love this hair so much man I'm really slayed the shit out of this hair and it's real human hair so like it don't tangle as much as like you know the hair that you get from those China based companies because it's like mixed with synthetic fibers and stuff like that. They swear it ain't, but it is, child. I know the difference. <clears throat> but I had a good time in Vegas. It was just a lot of walking. It was a lot of walking and it was cold. How it feel in Dallas feels the same way in Vegas. Now, where is a laundromat? I gotta find a laundromat. But yeah, this battery is about to die, so I will see y'all in a minute. All right, I just dropped those sheets because I had like a, a lick, a large load of like, so I could just do it in bulk. I just dropped that off at the laundromat. Now we're about to head back to the Airbnb to make the bed. Um, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get this makeup off this comforter because the previous guest, the last guest, um, I guess she went to sleep in her makeup child and she left makeup all over the comforter. So, oh boy, I tell you, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get, I think, I think if I use, um, developer, the lip, you know, that you would, you know, use, um, for like bleaching hair, I use developer on some, on a white collar one time and it pulled the, the foundation out of the collar completely so I'm gonna try that and see if that the makeup comes out of it but I'm still gonna charge her for um, ruining my comforter because even a clean comforter looks dirty with makeup on it so like that affects my future five-star ratings and I let her know and then like once I left her review and she read her review she got mad and she started like 
saying, well, this didn't work and this didn't work and you didn't have this and you didn't have this. Baby girl, you left me a five-star review and you communicated none of this to me. So, I mean, it's giving pity. It's giving pity. You know you left my house a mess. Hair all in the sink, hair all in the shower, lashes in the kitchen. Like, I mean, I didn't lie on you. It's just, it's, it's just seemed like you, you making it seem like I left your house nasty. You did. You did. It's nothing personal, but you did. It's not a hotel, babe. It's not a hotel. It's a, it's a home. You did. So, um, I just let her know, listen, I clean my units. Regardless of what you may think, I clean my units. Then she was like, you didn't you didn't leave us but one set of towels? Baby, I left you two sets. Two grays and two whites. Just put them in the laundry, so. <laughs> if you want to do inventory, let's talk about it. Definitely left you two sets of towels. But we're not going to be petty now. We're not going to be petty. Just take your review. Alright, alright, car. Alright, hold on. Shit. Just take your review and learn from it. You're living in somebody, you're staying in someone's home, not a hotel. And if I knew that I was staying in someone's space that would leave me a review, like I would leave them a review, I would definitely make sure that I'm clean because this affects your future reservations on Airbnb. Like people read reviews and that pretty much gives them the opportunity to make the informed decision of whether or not they want to approve you or not because if you're not on instant bookings you have to request to book and a lot of people read reviews first now given you cannot decline a lot because it will affect your visibility on the platform but there are people that will decline you because if they feel like you're not going to keep their space clean because of previous reviews from hosts I mean I feel like I would be as clean as possible and leave people's spaces clean knowing that they can review me just like I reviewed them do I feel bad that she left me a five-star review and I left her like a three-star review no because I held up my end of the bargain Honestly, I didn't even know she reviewed me. She, her communication was so subpar on the platform. Like we, I had to call her like personally and text her personally on her phone to communicate with her because she would not respond to me on the platform. So, and I, and I, you know, I, I said that as well. You know, you have to be responsive on the platform. The that's the that's how we're protected based on the things that you say in the messages. That's how we're protected, both you and the guest. If the guest com makes a complaint in on the platform in the messaging, whatever the guest complains, you know, they can reach out to Airbnb and Airbnb will help mitigate the situation. But if you're not if you're not providing any feedback on what's going on in the home, then how can how can you be protected if you're not communicating on the app? You're supposed to communicate on the app. But anyway, yeah, I got to be back at the laundromat to put that stuff in the dryer at 2.15. So I'm about to just run to the Airbnb and make the bed because I have an extra set shed of seat. I have an extra set of sheets in the trunk. I did not know that I had another set because I went and bought. Damn, I'm tripping. I went and bought after the whole blood on the sheets situation i went and bought more sheets i had already had three sets so i went and bought four more sets one white and three more gray and i like to use the gray because i feel like those particular sheets the makeup comes out of them better than the white but they're like just some $20 uh, sheet sets that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. But whilst they are only $20, they are so soft. I would, totally, I would totally put them on my bed. They are so soft. Baby, it's giving Brooke Linen quality, okay? They are really, really soft. So, yeah, she mad at me or whatever. I'm sorry, sis. You know, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with your feelings. You know, this a business. This a business. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm not going to lie cleaning up the hair 
God, like it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Like, you know you left hair in the bathroom sink when you was leaving. When you was brushing your teeth, combing your hair, doing whatever in the mirror, you saw that you left hair in the sink. So to turn around and complain that the sink was clogged, baby, the sink gonna clog if you leave her in the sink. You ain't even gotta make it make sense because it makes sense all by itself. The sink is going to clog if you leave hair. And when I tell you, it's hair everywhere. Hair everywhere. And it is so hard to clean up hair. It's so hard to clean up hair. Wet hair, dry hair. It is really difficult to clean up hair. Especially when it's wet. So, you can't fault nobody but yourself. Alright. My hands are so dry. Every time... I leave from cleaning at Airbnb and I wear gloves. My hands be so dry. I can't take it. So we about to head over to B Woodhouse, Brian, AK47. If you've been here a while, you know I got a I got one of the homies. Um he brought a gun to my house <laughs> when uh I was selling some furniture and you know you just got to be careful when you inviting people to your home child because you never know so he was um the one that had the gun that's brian the gemini so we literally live right around the corner from each other so i'm about to go to his house because while i was in vegas he um i asked him could he, he he's literally the only reliable person that i have in my life the only reliable person like oil change furniture moving pull up with a gun to protect me go pick up my hello fresh like he's the only reliable person i have in my life so while i was in vegas i asked him to um go and pick up my hello fresh for me um because if it had been staying out for two days my food wouldn't have been good and i called him like god I called him and like while we was on the phone he was like all right let me go get it real quick like it wasn't even all i see or oh man i'm doing something right now it was let me go on here and go around there he was on the phone he was on the phone let me go let me go on around there and go get it real quick and i saw him and literally we hanging up the phone it took him about he lived right around the corner so it took him about, about like five six minutes to get to my house i see him on the ring picking it up I'm just about to go and pick it up because my agent, my manager, is asking me about the footage. So I gotta go home, cook, eat, because I ain't ate all day, edit, and send it to them for review and approval so it can go up um, tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. But I mean, even if it doesn't go up in tomorrow's vlog, it can go up in Monday's vlog because it's going to be a vlog Monday. So let me text my manager and let him know. What's going on, y'all? Ooh, you blinged up. Oh, you're so sweet. You unpacked it and everything. Yeah, yeah, I can't put it all the whole box in there. I know. You're the best. It's okay. Yeah, Brian Pitt has a girlfriend on me. I don't know about all that. We 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 thinking about it, you know. Thinking about titles? Thinking about a girlfriend? No, 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 no. I mean, we're not thinking about nothing. We just we just saying how things go preliminary. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what about what's your situation over here? How you feeling? How you looking? What you got going on? Well, with a nigga? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make your head hurt. I have to rub back because I ain't got no fade. I rub back, rub down. You know the niggas rub, rub forward. Oh uh, no, nah, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing going right now. Mm. Nothing worth talking about. No, I feel you. I definitely feel you. What's going on, boss? What's going on right here? I might uh. How long she saying? Oh, this is the scary part. Ooh, one way. Wanna, 
It was one way. But now it's, a, it's a two way. She's saying she she might hit the road with me. So we'll see. To deliver some stuff. Mm -hmm. Man, y'all, once y'all have sex, she definitely, it ain't no mic. It's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and stay with you and go. Mm -hmm. I might have to go and set up for the one. The, the, the one right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna see. You got a few hours. Go pick up. So. You nervous? No, I ain't nervous. No. This y'all first time meeting? Mm -mm, nah, nah, I'm not in Denver. Mm -hmm. Black lady. Yeah, she black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm jealous. Don't be oh, come on now. You don't, you don't want this. You don't, you don't want this. I'm a legit this. I ain't even want this here. Yeah. I'm gonna do with this. <coughs> well, maybe not. Look at you, you're so legit. <laughs> 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 but you still jealous though. <laughs> ah! Hell yeah, I'm still jealous. Fuck you, Tom Bell. All right, man. Let me take this. Let me take this, yeah, this food to the this, house and let it sit out. I didn't know you had put it all in the freezer. Yeah, this the UPA man spot right here. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let me get out of his way. Right. It was good seeing you. Come, come, pull up on me uh, after she leaves. Absolutely. Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye. Jesus is on a mailer. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Oh. Jesus on a man, tell him what you want, tell him, call him up, oh, tell him what you want, call him, call him up, call him. Hey y'all, how you doing? How's your mama doing? How's your daddy doing? Is your daddy still with your mama? Do your daddy want some of this boost? Cause you know when they get up in age, they be needing a little help. And baby, they be they be needing help and honey, honey child. Help and honey, royal honey to be exact. <laughs> Catch. So I'm just sitting here getting ready to edit this video. Yeah, I've been ripping and running all day. I got off the plane at five. I had me a little, a little a snack of a nap. Had a meeting, was late for that, missed that. We're gonna try to reschedule and see if. I'm saying meeting like business meeting, but it wasn't a business meeting. It has nothing to do with YouTube. It's something else. Um, but I'm gonna call it a meeting for discretionary purposes but yeah child i overslept and missed that so i'm hoping that they'll allow me to reschedule and we can proceed and give them what they need um and then after that i've been ripping and running cleaning this airbnb ripping and running getting everything situated the previous guest wanted to argue because i left her a, a subpar review but baby you left my house subpar so it's like I give what's being given to me you know like and she wants to say well you never said that we had to clean up after ourselves you said that you have a cleaning crew baby I tell everybody I got a cleaning crew but I am the cleaning crew okay and regardless you still need to clean up after yourself why is a lash in the kitchen a lash I lived there for four years and I ain't never leave lashes on the kitchen floor bathroom yes you know it but and baby i'm talking about one of them butterfly lashes like ari be wearing ma'am where you wear that to because if you somebody fairer godmother then just say it but yeah i've been ripping and running all day y'all i have been ripping and running all day i'm so in love with this hair though it is so soft y'all I hope she sent me another wig because, man, she slayed this wig. It looks so natural. Somebody uh, commented me today and thought that it was my hair. I know because it's, it's so flat at the top shot. It's part. It's just parting. You know what I'm saying? 
it's giving very much Moses in the Red Sea. I have finally had a, a chance to wind down. I need to cook some HelloFresh, film that content, edit that, send that over to the brand. They wanted it today. I'm like, baby, I'm going to have to give it to you tomorrow. Work with me, work with me, because I work with y'all when y'all be late. Cha-ching. So, yeah. Um, so, now I'm about to edit this video, send it over to this uh, brand so they can approve and hopefully, you know, it can go up tonight. Baby, baby.